Hi. Uh, I just got back from the game shop for Board Game Afternoon, and um, thought I'd talk to you a bit about what I played. Uh, so it was it's sort of a theme of slowness, uh, this particular game session. So first, things happened, started out rather quickly. Um, let's see, what did we play first? I'm sorry, it's the biggest box in here, and so it's a little stuck. Um, first game we played was Crusoe's Planet, which I still haven't changed the box that it's in or decorated it. But um, more people showed up today. Kind of the had a had some of, some old faces returning. So we had a full game of Crusoe's Planet, eight players. First time I was able to do that. Um, one of the reasons slowness uh, became the theme. It's because there's one particular player who we have um, who is very, very slow. She's not a bad person, not, you know, definitely plays the game, but is very, very slow. So in Crusoe's Planet, before you turn, you roll the dice, or the die, to decide how many spaces you get to move. This person will wait, like, 30 seconds to a minute to, like, consider before rolling the die. And it's just a, a trait, you know, people have different time scales which they operate and this person just happens to be very slow. With eight people though that that um, slowed down the game quite a bit. I mean and I you know I played other games with this person and it's just it's gonna be a slower game if this person is playing, but I appreciate their willingness to play and that they get engaged in the game. Um, one person who wasn't get engaged in the game is there's this curmudgeonly person who hadn't been coming for a while. Um, but she came today and didn't like Caruso's Planet, which was not a surprise to me, but also did not really attempt to like Caruso's Planet. Um, didn't really pay any attention to the game, and then, you know, when it was taking a long time, she just started complaining and complaining until eventually I was like, you, you really don't have to play, like, because I, I, and I, I, did, I said it totally, like, I really don't, because I don't think people should have to play a game if they don't like it. I don't buy the thing that everyone should like feel like they have to stay with a whole game um, if they don't like it. Especially if the game doesn't require that person to continue. And Crusoe's Planet doesn't. And so about half the group left eventually, um, I think to keep her company in part. And in part because it was taking a long time and that's totally okay. And in fact, I don't... Some of the people who left were putting forth an effort and not complaining and really trying to make the game work rather than just kind of not paying attention and then complaining. So those are two different things. If you, um, I think if, if you are engaged or you attempt to engage and that doesn't work, but that is totally one thing and totally understandable. If you don't engage and you just complain a bunch, complain, 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 and this, this wasn't like out of control complaining, but it was obvious that in, there wasn't a lot of effort. More so than I've seen in other instances though actually with this person, so that wasn't bad. And I'm not just trying to carp, harp on, um, and this is not a complaint video, but I tried to, the idea is to, sh to kind of talk about how games work in the world and personalities are, are a part of that. Um, I, I, I prefer it if you're not, you know, if you're not interested, just don't play. Don't start to play because of the social thing when you're not really wanting to do that activity. Just, you know, you can still socialize, you can still sit and socialize without doing that. Anyway, um, eight people, interesting still, interesting still, it was, the first turn was really rough, um, like, part because I wasn't able to give, maybe I didn't give the best advice for eight people because I hadn't done it before, but there was also some bad rules in it, rolls, and it, um, uh, it's often in the first turn that, you know, food and water are an issue because people aren't experienced in their paths yet, so you're really just going with the die roll, and if you don't pick the right things, then, that can hurt. There was one point when one person had a choice between water and some apples, and they chose the apples. Tur turned out that person did not have enough water, and so they were dying of thirst after the first turn. Um, several other people were hungry. Another person was malnourished. Um, being more experienced, and we, we were playing tribal capitalism, so I, I played somewhat selfishly, but tried to help the group at the same time, um, but made sure I was taken care of, so I was taken care of. Uh, and, you know, tried to help people and, like, let them know how to play the game at the same time. Um, so a lot of people were hurting after that first turn. I think people were interested in the game. 
uh, it did go slowly, and there was like a complainy voice, which kind of I think is demoralizing when other people are trying to engage. Uh, to have one person kind of be like, eh, it's taking too long. Well, I don't know. Um, but still, I I think you know even as a that doesn't take away from the simulation, the simulative quality of the game because there's going to be people like that in a society, and there's going to be people like that in an economy. Uh, and definitely, if you're stranded on an island, someone's going to be complaining and maybe like demoralizing. That's just something you got to deal with. And so we did. Um, we ended up getting rescued on turn four again, partially because you know four people committed sepulco, uh suicide. Sepulcoku. <laughs> I used to be. I know, used to know that word. Um, committed suicide, which you know at, lowers the number of dice you have to roll in order to. Um, in order to escape, and so that was good. Um, but turn four, every time I've played, if they're successful, they leave at turn four, the, the, the group, um, if we're successful. And so, a lot of fun, still interesting. Um, then after that, we just kind of chatted for a while, while some people played, um, the people who left, er left our Crusoe's Planet game early uh, were playing Ticket to Ride Europe. I have no interest in playing that game. I played Ticket to Ride. I had to, I jumped in for some people at the end of a game of Ticket to Ride Europe because someone had to leave early and I didn't want to mess them to have their game messed up. Really, just not no investment for me in that game. Uh, I can see why people enjoy it. I think there are decisions to be made, but there's I I need more than just decisions. I need to have some some emotional investment in those decisions. And I really never can find it there. I think some people can just be can just be driven by the victory, and that that's not enough for me. Especially, I mean, halfway through a game, right? But even if I start kick a drive, which I won't do, I, I I will just sit out, and that's fine. I'm totally fine if people want to play that game, or Power Grid or whatever. I'm wait, I'm in the middle of something. I'll be I'll be there in a second. My son is very distraught because I have my door locked. Um, but, you know, I, 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 I don't know what else to say about that. Except that, after all of that, um, great game with Crucible's Planet. I think it's harder, I just wanted to say a few more thoughts about Crucible's Planet. I think it's harder with eight people, maybe. Um, and I, I think partially because you have, um, a larger variety of personalities you got to deal with, right? Uh, you have a larger, uh, economy, a larger culture, so it's harder to, um, interact with them all on a one-to-one -one basis and get their voices heard, which I think is something that happens in the world as well. Um, it's also more likely someone is not going to be interested in a game like that if you have a larger set. But I think if you had the right people for an, for an eight-person game, I think it would be more interesting. And um, I'd definitely do it again. Uh, you definitely got, I mean, you got, a, you got a whole set, a whole nother set of issues to deal with if you have eight, because you're going to have more doubling up on paths. Uh, and that, that adds another interesting interesting element. Um, so then I played a game of innovation. Um, wasn't really the game I wanted to play the most, but still played. didn't play the expansion, actually. I didn't always bring them along. I don't know why I bring them together, even though generally if I'm in, a, in that setting, I'm going to probably just play the base set, because chances are someone hasn't played before. Played Partners. Um, again, it went really slow, because one of the players was very slow. It was like, shh, and this person was new to the game too, and so that's that's a whole other matter. And I, you know, I try to be patient. Um, one thing though, if you're slow and it's your turn, don't start cleaning up your stuff before you go. You know, clean up your stuff or do whatever else you need to do when it's someone else's turn. That way, when it's your turn, you can just play. Um, but fun game partners. Are so such an interesting element to the game if you play partners. I really enjoy playing four-player partners with this game. Maybe even more than I like three. I don't know. It adds a it adds a whole other dimension. Um, I think whenever you can mix cooperation and competition, you have uh, uh, a deeper game just naturally because of those two things, uh, th those two axes both being in it. Um, so innovation partners. What didn't we play? didn't play Princess, when it came time to decide what to play next, I suggested Princess, three were down, someone, actually, no, someone else suggested Princess, um, who had played last time, but one person didn't want to play, but that person agreed to play, um, Innovation, didn't play Hamlet, 
get the same kind of reaction I always get from Hamlet. Like, ha 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 ha. That's the, that's the reaction. You, you can play Hamlet. I try to make it open, you know, um, so that people could suggest their own games. I didn't play Zendo, but I have a nice blue box. Um, of Zendo. I thought I'd get Zendo played. It, it, it tends to be an easy one to play. So, didn't play Lifeboat either. Didn't have enough one of us time to play Lifeboat. Um, but yeah, a, a good time. Uh, I, I, I hope this this particular video didn't sound complainy or that the other ones haven't either. I try to bring out um, personality quirks that, that change the tone of the game. Um, but maybe I'm, I'm dwelling too much on the negative. I mean, there was times in Crucible's Plant, for example, where people would would say certain things like that that I, I felt enhanced or that would learn to count their own points or, you know, uh, things like that, you know, taking taking some ownership of the game, uh, which was very nice, and that was most of most of the people.